Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to talk about the Laplace transform of some time constant t. Okay, and well, I want to finish this Laplace transform series off. It's so exciting but I'm just too lazy or no, I'm not lazy, I'm just really slow. I want to finish other stuff too and you guys are suggesting so many things to do. Let's just finish this off. <laughs> okay, so as always we want to apply the definition of the Laplace transform to this function. So right now this is just the improper integral from 0 to infinity of t times e to the minus st dt. And how can we integrate this bad boy? Well, integration by parts is the best choice here. So we should differentiate t because it goes to 0 way faster than e to the minus st. So we need to integrate the second term here. So we need something to differentiate and something to integrate. So let's differentiate t so this becomes 1 and in the end 0 and let's integrate e to the minus st. So that's 1 over minus s e to the minus st and then it's 1 over s squared e to the minus st. So that's quite easy. So multiply this together and this together and then we are done and apply the limits. So this is finally just t over minus s e to the minus st from 0 to infinity minus 1 over s squared e to the minus st from 0 to infinity. And now we can just take the limits and see what we get at first. So at first this is the limit as t approaches infinity of 1 over minus s t times e to the minus st and then we get minus 1 over minus s times 0 basically and times e to the minus 0 times s. So this is just 0 so that was quite easy. Let's conclude that and what else do we get? So next thing we get is minus the limit as t approaches infinity of 1 over s squared e to the minus st and then minus 1 over s squared and if we, apply, uh, if we apply 0 to this function that's just e to the 0 so that's 1. So minus and minus becomes positive because it's the second part of the integration so that's positive 1 over s squared. So let's see what we can conclude. We end up with 1 over s squared at first. And now we have to make things converge as always. So we need to get this to zero somehow and we need to get this to zero somehow. So let's start off with this term at first because it's the easier choice. So in order to make this thing zero when t approaches infinity we need a negative exponent. So that would mean that s would be greater than zero. But s is a complex number so we are just going to take a look at the real part of s. Why this is the case take a look in the description there will be a link to the corresponding video. So our first condition for convergence is that the real part of s has to be greater than zero. Okay so that was quite easy. Here's a little bit harder one. So now we need this to go to zero somehow. But as you might notice if we let t approach infinity under the condition that the real part of s is greater than zero that would be t approaches infinity so in infinity over e to the infinity so that would be infinity. So we got an infinity over infinity situ situation right here. So how can we get rid of this? Let's use L'Hopital's rule in this case. So let's use Papa L'Hopital. <laughs> okay so we need to apply it. So let's leave this constant out of the way limit as t approaches infinity of t over e to the st. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Well, um, we need to differentiate the numerator and the denominator. So that's the limit as t approaches infinity of d dt times t over d dt e to the st. And this is finally, well, the, the numerator is just 1 in this case. So that's the limit as t approaches infinity of 1 over and well if we differentiate e to the st this is just s times e to the st. 
So it's s times e to the st. And if we let t approach infinity, that would mean that it's 1 over infinity and this goes to 0. So this first part also holds under the condition that the real part of s is created in 0 and then we are done. So the Laplace transform of t is just 1 over s squared. And we can also generalize this idea. The Laplace transform of t to the n is a little bit more difficult. I'm going to make a video on that topic later. But at first this is the general case, so you will encounter this sometimes. Most of the time you are dealing just with t to the first power. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. And if you would like to support me in any way, then take a look in the description. There will be a link to my Patreon. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters up until now. And well, have a flammable day. See ya. Akira.